Hello and welcome. Try this problem on your own. You might use a graphing calculator on this, but you don't need to. And then press play when you're ready to work with me on it. Thanks. Okay, so let's talk about what this problem is asking. It's saying the zeros, they want to know what the zeros of this function are. So f of x is just the way of saying a function based on x. And you can see they're using the variable here in the function. The zeros of a function, um, well, this is a parabola. This is a quadratic equation with a parabola. I can tell because the exponent is 2. Once you see that, you know you've got a parabola. That's the highest exponent. And we put our axes here just to kind of show what's happening. And we're going to have some kind of parabola, right? We might not know exactly where it is, but it's some parabola here. It has a um, y-intercept of negative 6, that this, this, that this number is. When x is 0, you have your y-intercept. That's this point right here. So we're going to plug in 0 for x. These terms cancel out. 2 times 0 and 4 times 0 is 0. That means that at this point is 0, negative 6. Okay, so that's our intercept. And I know it's facing upward because the number in front of x squared is positive. When it's positive, it's like a smile. If it's negative, it's like a frown. Um, and what we're interested in are the zeros. That's this point here. This is called a root, right? And a root, that's what these points are called. And sometimes they're called zeros because you can imagine the roots are crossing the x-axis. And at a root, you have some x value. Let's call this x1. And the height is 0 because you're on the x-axis. This one, we call it x2. The height is also 0. So they're called zeros sometimes because the height of those two points is 0. So you can find it in the graphing calculator by plugging your equation in and finding the roots. Or you can find it algebraically. Uh, there are other techniques as well. I'll show two techniques. So the first thing I'm going to do is set the height equal to 0. Height is y or f of x, right? Set the height equal to 0. And I'm going to solve. I'm going to find what x values give a height of 0. So algebraically, I notice we've got 2 uh, as a factor of each term here. So I'm going to factor 2 out. It's going to make this a little bit easier to work with. So I'm factoring 2 out equals 0, right? Now we're going to divide both sides by 2. All right, that's going to cancel my 2's out. 0 divided by 2 is 0. 2 divided by 2 is just 1. And in multiplication, 1 doesn't matter. So 1 minus 2x minus 3. Now I'm solving for this x. So to factor this, I've got to find two numbers that multiply a negative 3 but add a negative 2. And those two numbers are negative, uh, excuse me, positive 1 and negative 3. Right? So here, uh, we can solve this now because we're saying that there's some number, x plus 1, times another number, x minus 3. And when you multiply them, you get 0. So either x plus 1 has to equal 0. Right? To get a product of 0, x plus 1 must equal 0. Or x minus 3 equals 0, or they both equal 0. So we have to find the x values that would work to give uh, a number of 0, so the total product is 0. So first I solve this one, x would be negative 1. That makes sense, right? If x is negative 1, negative 1 plus 1 is 0, and this whole product would be 0. Over here, we add 3 to both sides, so x would be 3. And again, that makes sense, right? Because if x is 3, 3 minus 3 is 0, and this whole product would be 0. So the two zeros of this function are when x is 3 and when x is negative 1. And that's one way to answer this problem. So 3 and negative 1. If you don't like that way, another way of solving it is on the graphing calculator. So I'm going to trim this down. To solve on the graphing calculator, what I would do is go to y equals, go to, um, first of all, change my plot. I'm on a stat plot, which stat plots graph data. I'm graphing an equation. Clear off what I have. And I'm going to write 2x squared and then exponent, so minus 4x minus 6. And I'm going to press the graph. <coughs> and it's mad at me. Okay, let's figure out what's going on. We'll go to a second stat plot. So I have stat plots on, and I'll, that's when you're graphing data. I'm graphing an equation. I'm going to go to choice 4 and just turn them off. Hit enter. Okay, so now it should work. There's my line, but it's kind of out of focus. I'll do a standard zoom. So there's my parabola. So I want to know what the zeros are. So that's under calculations here, second calc. So choice two is for zeros. Now left bound, it wants me to go over to the left of a zero. So I go scroll over to the left and then enter. And then hit to the right of a zero and hit enter wants to guess what it is, and you can see it's negative 1, 0. So when x is negative 1, it's one of our answers. Now do it again. Second calc. 
choice two, four, and then I go to the left of the next zero, uh, about, you know, somewhere to the left of this zero point, so here, and then go to the right, and you might get an estimation, but there it is, three, zero. So it gives you the zeros. Again, all I did was I went to y equals, I entered my equation, I graphed it, and then I hit second trace to find the zero command there. All right, hope this helped.